Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWorld.com, and today we'll be showing you Android 4.0 update for the Epic 4G Touch on the Sprint network. This is the Epic 4G Touch, Samsung Galaxy S2 for Sprint. The update um, was released, I believe, two or three days ago, uh, but you can also manually update your device. We'll show you that with this video. But first of all, let's go over the update itself with Android 4.0. So we know the Epic 4G Touch, which is a Galaxy S2, dual-core processor, Exynos, um, front-facing camera, Super AMOLED display, uh, so on and so forth. First thing you notice, though, is that you can access the notification bar. Uh, in your lock screen, which is pretty cool. And of course you do have all those features where you can clear your uh, notifications by swiping left or right, which is nice. Also your lock screen is also that new retail lock screen, so we'll show you again. Basically, just slide it to the side and you're good. Now when you update your phone, even if you do the manual update, you won't lose anything because it's actually a genuine update from Samsung. Um, same features you have there, you still have your quick scroll feature uh, overall. So you can still access that. Um, if you hold down the home button, you do have your multitask. We can scroll through and we can swipe stuff left, right, that kind of thing. So we're going to our settings here. Um, first thing, let me just change this so that we won't have issues with the display. Screen timeout. Let's leave that for 10 minutes for now. So your settings here, you, settings are broken down typical Android 4.0 fashion. You do have wireless, you have your device section, personal, and also your system, which is very similar to what you have with the update with the Samsung Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile. A couple of things here that are different to this update. You have a separate um, menu here on the systems for system updates, which you can access. It's no longer in the about phone section, which will show you, reading there, Android 4.0.4, um, with the kernel number and bandwidth there. You also have, um, you can also switch on 4G here. You have the ability to um, set up Wi-Fi Direct uh, between any devices that have Wi-Fi Direct with the Samsung Galaxy S2 family. Now if we go into the device itself, um, a couple of the features, this is supposed to improve battery life. You also add facial unlock so you can actually unlock your device that way uh, if we're actually going to Security and settings will show you. And you have screen lock, you have the face unlock added there. Now, in terms of battery life, um, I wouldn't say I've seen much of a difference in battery life with this compared to the old version. This is better than the T Mobile version in terms of battery life. You get about 12 to 13 hours, which is what you got before, so I don't think there's that much of a difference there in uh, battery life of the device. A couple of things have been changed. Your power controls look slightly different. You have this. Uh, um, you know, dual dual mode look where you have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS on top as well as that. If you want power controls, of course, you can quickly access them here in your uh, notification bar overall. Um, in terms of apps, your apps are still the same. Nothing's been added here. Again, you still have the quick scroll feature. Um, your gallery in here still has the old gallery, gallery look. doesn't have the Android 4.0 gallery look you've seen with, say, with the S3. It's still the old um, gallery uh, layout you have with the Epic 4G Touch. Uh, camera wise, you go into the camera here. So you have the ability to, of course, uh, you have the full camera settings, which is standard because you can um, take photos. You switch over to the record mode. I think the camera actually just froze on me. So, let's take a look at the camera one more time. So, long video mail, hit record in the camera. So we can record, but you can see you cannot take photos while recording. So, I'm recording here, but there's, let's put this piece of paper there. Uh, you cannot snap, take photos. That's this feature that's not available as with the Samsung Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile. But overall, uh, it's a nice update, at least your device is updated to Android 4.0. So let's go ahead and show you how to actually manually update your Epic 4G Touch. Uh, <clears throat> first thing you must do is basically download this file format. Uh, the update itself, we have the update file, it's a zip file, it's located in the description below so you can actually update it, uh, download it from there. 
then you have to transfer it to your SD card. Now you must transfer it to the SD card for your device, not into the device memory itself, but the SD card you have on the device. Once you transfer it there, um, change the file name to update um, from the original file name, so the file name must be update. The next thing you do, once the file is in there, you power off your device. Shut that off. And then basically after powering off the device, you basically have to turn your device on in system boot mode. So to do that, you hit the power button and the volume up button. So we just wait for this to fully power off, all the lights off. And we hold it down until the first Samsung logo comes on. So we're gonna do that. Just wait a little bit. There, there we have it. So manual mode. We're gonna zoom in there a little bit so you guys can take a better look at that. So you have that there. Re we have reboot system now. You can move up and down with your volume keys. Say apply update from external source, and then to enter into that, you hit use your home button. So I'm gonna use the home button to go in. You can use the home or power button for some reason my home button isn't working well. But anyway, you get in there, you can see I have the update file here. And once you hit, you hit the update file, it will update your device. And that's it. And it will go through the update process. Very simple. So again, the file, um, we have the links for you down below. Make sure once you download it, you change the file name to update. Not update 1, not update 2, just update. Load into your SD card for your uh, Epic 4G Touch. Um, then power off your device, do a uh, system uh, power on, uh, system boot power on by hitting the home, uh, the power button and the up volume up button. That will bring you the, uh, the prompt, you show the function, update, click on the update file and update and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to head back, take this out, go in, reboot system now. So. There you have it guys, if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Epic 4G Touch uh, Android 4.0 update, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube, it's all border work with uh, 2.0. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.